Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Production Line. Sorry it's been a few weeks. Um, I was waiting for a patch to come out. Um, I've adjusted the screen resolution, so you should now be able to see all this down the left, because um, I was running it in 4K. Um, I have noticed that when I run it in 1080p, it doesn't do it full at full screen. Some some games, if you put it in 1080p, it will scale on the 4K, 4K screen. It would just be 1080p resolution. Um, which makes it look a little bit blocky, but it's, it's fine. But on this game, and a couple of others I've noticed, when you put it in 1080p, puts it in a window. Um, Farming Sim does the same, which is a little bit awkward. I don't know why certain games do it and certain games don't. Um, but anyway, we're back with it. So last time, um, I'm trying to think of what we did. I believe we broke out a few sections um, for the accessories to fit the lights, horn, seat, and windscreen separately. Um, and we were going to produce our eco car, I believe. I should have really watched the video back. A um, few of you have said about the scaling issues, uh, or noticed the text wasn't there. That was, as I say, a scaling issue, um, which is re hopefully resolved. Tell me if you can't see it. Um, other bits and pieces was, do I have enough power? Yes, at the moment, I do have enough power. I think so, anyway. Um, a lot of you noticed that it was similar to Big Pharma. Um, so, yes, very similar. Uh, we've got... I'm just trying to think what we were doing. Right, make light was down there. Which is, incidentally, uh, steel and glass coming in there. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye out for when we get uh, the sheet metal we need because we can actually produce that. Now I can't remember what we were researching. We're researching even more robots, which is fantastic. We need that. Um, also, obviously, I'm on a different different version, so we can now go in and see all of this. Look, all these details. Yes. I don't know why that still goes across the screen like that. Um, there's still obviously a bug there. Um, but we're doing good though. Income. Uh, apparently, we had. A few models, but our model eco we're building, we're just trying to break things out into separate so we reduce the prices. All the prices are in here. Um, the chap who's developing this, Chris, uh, he's working on um, a new screen effectively away from all of this. That when you adjust the pricing of the car, this bit here, you'll see individual uh, bits for the items that are attached to it. So obviously, if I hover over there, it says basic car, heater, and in-car music. It's got So it's got the two extra items. So it would have the prices down here, how much we're being charged for it, and how much we're selling that part for, and you will be able to adjust the price on the individual items as well. Yeah, which is good. Right, uh, going to hit play then. Might as well. And uh, insufficient resources there. We might put in some... I'm, I'm reluctant to put in stockpiles, although we've got them here. But what I will say is they've been changed slightly, so I'm going to add one in um, up here. Uh, where shall I put it? Shall I put it in there, actually? In there. Uh, we'll link it up. Oh, that's already linked there. Uh, so this is fit body. Now what you can do with this now is you can copy from a slot. And I can say, I want that from Fit Body. There you go, all done. How cool is that? That's really good. I love that. I mean, eventually I've got a better plan for all of this. I still haven't done all the maths. Uh, see, like Fit Engine. I was going to put some stockpiles in here for the Fit Engine. Because we will just get uh, insufficient resources all the time otherwise. But uh, what are we waiting for over here? No route to st stockpile. Uh, we need to sort that out then. The resource conveyor and come across there. Because otherwise the cars are just going to sit there. And we don't want that. So we're doing pretty good. We're selling cars. Uh, well, yeah, we just sold a butt ton of cars actually. We've gone down to four. We can put the price up a little bit, I reckon. Let's put it up to 88. 0.62. There we go. Choose the next project. Right, I don't want to go robots galore. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing. What is administration? No, I don't want to do that. Uh, we've got a new research thing, by the way. Research centres. We'll do that. Uh, so that'll take a little while. 
Come on, you have got no route to stop bar. I've added one. Why is that not working? Or is that the parts coming through there? No. Fit electronics. Okay, well let's put in Have we got a uh, ah hang on. Well that's gonna bring them in anyway. I bet we've got an electronics one somewhere. And it's not linking up to it. But there you go. Well, we've got electronics now. We can get the, the factory moving again. So we've got robots. Let's go uh, have a look. Right. So definitely on fit body. We're going to add robots on these. Get these moving. Let's get these going. And I'm probably... Quality checks, all right. We're going to put them on here because we're a little bit behind. So we'll clear those out. It won't take long. I may put another quality check in there as well, possibly. Possibly. Uh, right. Chassis assemble. No. We can start breaking things out into the individual bits at some point. Um, but yeah, we've got a new resource center and a new high output power plant, which is kind of cool. Obviously, they cost more money. Ba -da -ba -ba. So these are matched with those, so they're keeping up fine. It's just back here is a little bit. But we're not doing too bad. And maybe faster paint drying. This is where we're slow at the moment. This is the paint. Need to shift more cars through there. Uh, so the idea is to get five models eventually running. We've only got one running, but I want to split it out first, really, into individual parts. Uh, no more storage room. Uh, that's all right. Well, we can put in stores by adding stockpiles. Uh, so this is make light, so there, fill it up like that. So that will start producing them and then putting them in there. Um, now I haven't worked out whether it's better to have them there or over where they're needed. I reckon it's going to be where they're needed, which is. Uh, going to be over here somewhere, isn't it? There. So I'm thinking I might put the stockpile over here, actually. That's probably where it's needed more. Why are the lights going back? It's not ordering them in, is it? Let's um, do away with that. I don't want that there. I'm going to put it over here. We're going to plonk it down there, like so. In like that. And we're going to put them there. And then that'll supply that area. Cool! Yeah, are we working our way back down through here? that was make light probably make horn would be the next one so we've got rid of the backlog by the looks of it we're producing cars good we've got 15 in stock but we've got two million quid so all right on money and we've got resources coming in there I want to make like a steel manufacturing plant eventually I want to use this whole factory up. Yes. We're waiting for the research, basically. Oh, wow, that's taking ages. Uh, right, okay. Let's 
Let's research that quick first. Yeah, I should probably have spaced these out a little bit differently. Because if I had thought about it, these could have gone in sort of these these gaps. So it's not very well planned. But as we break out certain things, obviously we're we're doing these bits separately. So we might as well manufacture these parts and put them in stockpiles. Um, but eventually we want to come back to sort of this area and build the chassis. But I'm sort of holding off a little bit at the moment. Where's our research centres? Is that them there? Yeah. Have we only got four or five? Have we got any more? No, we've got some over here. Look. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've got eleven. It's not bad. We can turn that off whilst we're building cars. See if we can get that research through quicker. Because this is just making money. It's just like printing money, this is. So we're getting a few exclamation marks up through here with parts not being getting there quick enough. But that's okay. Right. So let's do we leave that on that now? It's got quite a way to go. It tells us there how many research labs we got. It has got research. I can go back to do that, yeah. Research. There you go. Uh, right, so we've got manufacture horns now. We can put this in, which is accessories, fit horn, make horn. So this is this guy here. So again, I'm going to put him over here. We're going to put a resource conveyor across there. And that's going to come down to there. And that's going to make horns. So that brings in uh, steel. And then it'll make horns, put them there. But we need them over here. So when that fills up, we'll move it across. Obviously, we're manufacturing these quicker than we can produce them, quicker than we can use them at the moment. So we could up our production quite a bit. But at the moment, we can't make the chassis quick enough. Have we got the robots on them? Nope. Let's add a set of robots on there, see if we can get more chassis going through. Might as well. Got 32 cars in stock. We don't really want that many in stock. We'll drop the price down a little bit. 85. Try and shift them out of our, our stock. And I'm going to put it on fast forward. Yeah, as you can see, the inefficiencies are supplying of parts. I don't know if we'll ever get away from that. I think we will. These are stockpile full. So that's now no export room. So what I wanted to do was come over here, put a what's his name in here like so. I'm gonna put a conveyor across like so. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna add the horn. Now that should move all of those across from there. Yeah, I'm on. Should do. He says. No, it's gone and bought a load in. So have you got to have that close by? Because that's going to be annoying. That does... No, it's not attached, is it? Hang on. Oh, dear. I meant to do that. Didn't mean to do that right. Hang on. Wasting money, Slim. What are you doing? Right, conveyor there. Add item. Horn. Go. Right. 
It's still buying them in. Never mind. I don't want it to buy them in. So we need to get rid of that. So all of those now should come from our source supply. Choose next research. Yes, please. Can we... Manufacture our seats next, please. So what we've done there, if I slow it down a minute, I've added the ability. Uh, where are we going to put it? Um, we'll put it here for now. But we've now got Research Center, which is this big thing, which is kind of cool. And you can sort of... Which way should we put it? Kind of want you to see the screens on it, so I'm going to put it that way. Yeah, that way be good. So there we've got those. So we've got little server racks, uh, little screens. Um, the next update, these are going to change. I've put a suggestion in that they should really show the current project that you're researching. I think would be cool, um, but the the, the image I've seen is these were changing and the lights were changed on here just randomly. I'm a little bit concerned that's out in the middle of nowhere. That probably wants to be that way, 90 degrees I would say. Not sticking out of the, the thing. So yeah, well, that should speed up research now. So if I go to research, we had 11... Uh, 1.38, we've now got 1.63, which is cool. So we should fly now through through our manufacturing. Uh, I just want to check our... I think that's actually producing in that way. I want that like that. There we go. So all our horns get into this supply and then when these run out it just grabs them from there so we've got stacks of horn did i just say that out loud that was just wrong right we still need to manufacture these quicker so i'm going to put another set of robots on there so that's our seats right let's go for uh, ba -da -ba -ba, chassis specialization. Let's break our chassis out so we can manufacture our chassis completely separate, which would be cool. And we kind of got quite a bit of money coming in. We're not doing too bad. Um, so we now need to uh, put the uh, make seats in. So we've got fit seats. We can now make seats. I'm going to assume it's that way around. I might have to swap it. I do. Uh, it's going to go that way, like so. We're going to put resource conveyor in there. Resource conveyor in there. They're going to start manufacturing seats. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same over here again. Is we're going to put in. Where is it? Stop pile. like so we're gonna now whoop, hang on chassis let's axles we'll get that going uh, I now need to completely disconnect that like so I think no what are this oh that's windscreens Hang on, no, we still need windscreens. Conveyor. No, not conveyor. Other conveyor. Resource conveyor. Got too many things open. Let's close that one down. Resource conveyor. I need to take these out. Like so. Put a resource conveyor. In fact, it only needs to go there. 
Or does it? No, it doesn't even have to go there, does it? It goes there. Right. We've got it. No. Uh, add item seats we want. Fill that up. Now that should be connected in, but I bet it's not. Now it is. What's that? Heater? We can't make the heater, can we? But hopefully it will bring it through. Somehow. If not, we may have to... Add that in somehow. Because we may run out of heaters in a minute. Why is it not... Oh, we haven't put the car... Yeah, this is a bit... Bit of a bad design here. Right. Uh, axle manufacturer. Yeah, because that's that has to connect. Unfortunately, because we will need heaters. The problem is, it's going to bring seats in as well. Mm. I want the seats to come from there, and they're too far away, so it's just going to import them. It should pick the cheapest one. I don't know if that's a uh, that's a bug. Possibly, because it's just buying them in. Yeah. Hmm. There's no easy way around that unless I specifically, there is a way around it. There's a way around it. We can do that and I can put in um, A stockpile of <laughs> we'll see if that will produce them from over here. Oh, there's no link though, is there? See, this is the problem. We need to make a link back through there so that it bring the heaters down but nothing else because it is a it's too far to take it all the way around there that should work now it's not ideal but we've got past the issue effectively so i think we're good uh, so we don't need that that can close we're going to be breaking out the shatty Um, but we are currently researching axle manufacturer, which is nearly done. We've got some money in the bank. Pretty much keeping up. A little bit of a, a delay in there. But that's fine. Right. Fuel tank manufacturer. So then we can split all this out and manufacture everything for it. Right. What we're going to do now... It's come back next week. No, we're not. We've got five minutes left. We are going to have a look at um, I believe so it'd be nice if when we hovered over these bits like make that, we could work out if we can make steel sheets because then I'd know where to place it a bit easier. I suppose you've just got to learn the game a bit. In fact, my spreadsheet tells me I'm going to bring up my spreadsheet on my Mac. Bear with me. It takes a little while because it's online. It's hidden away from the world. It's top secret. Oh yes, I did go into this much detail. Right. 
Uh, make axles. Comes from steel. Uh, but not steel sheets. Uh, make fuel tanks comes from steel, but not steel sheets. So again, they can probably come over here. Uh, so let's have a go at make axle. We probably need to squish this up a bit. But I think... Yeah, it's just it just wants steel, so that's fine. So if we go like that and like that, in fact, it doesn't need to go that way. It needs to come out this way. We're going to replace this. Have I got everything? No, we can't fit the fuel tank yet until we can make the fuel tank, which is now done, which is good. Right. So after this, I'm going to go advanced production so that we can do metal rolling. So that's going to take a little while to do. Um, we're going to build the chassis now. So I'm going to... Uh, am I going to pause it? I think, I think I'm not going to pause it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this round. And we're going to bring it down this way and then in, I think. Just for now, uh, we're going to start it off. Yeah, we're starting there. And that's going to that's making the sh the axles, so that's going to go in there. Fit rear axle. I'm going to leave a gap of two. And of course, it's going to put it over that side, isn't it? But we, we go like that. Uh, fit drive shaft again only the gap of two um, now drive shaft we can't actually make so we will import that from here like so uh, conveyor uh, fit undercarriage again, gap of two Again, can't manufacture that, so that can come from there. That conveyor to there. Uh, we need to make a fuel tank. Now this can and will come from here. Um, da -dum 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 -dum. This is getting very poorly laid out now. Bring it into there. Yeah. Uh, make sure fit fuel tank. How am I going to squeeze this one? I think we can now. We'll let that one produce that one. Because he's halfway through. Get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. We are going to go, we're going to pause it just for a minute. Just for a minute, we've got three million in the bank. The money changes still. Um, right, so fit fuel tank we're going to put here. Like so. And then I can, oh, how am I going to get that across here? This way. Like so. It's going to link, isn't it? I think, no, I think we're good. Uh, conveyor. Like so. And then we're going there. But the, no, we can't go in there. Uh, conveyor. It needs to go in there. Come on. Why is it not going there? Oh, hang on. Uh, like that. That should now work if I hit play. That'll get parts in a minute. I fit fuel tank. They're making those over there. That will go off 
Here they all come. And I mean, these are going to fit every two minutes 30. That takes five minutes to make those, so we're going to need more than one of those. Uh, which doesn't surprise me. I'm just going to whack that in there. And go. We will put that in there like that. Right. Bit of a mess. I know. But I kind of want to split stuff out and move it now. We're making reasonable money. I want to put my research in that little office there. We're toitering on power as well. I'm going to buy this area. We're going to expand into here. I'm going to move my research into there. But instead of... We've got research offices or... See, what it doesn't tell you there, which is vital information, is how many resource points that gives you. Four employees or six. I'm going to go research center. Like so. Like so. We're going to cut back on these. And then we're going to go in there and have a look. Right, that is terribly low. That's got to be wrong. Research Labs 4, 1... No, that's, that's probably right. We'll add in a couple more of those. See, what I'm thinking is you get a nice square of them there and then power this side and then resources can just come out. Uh, so, power's a little bit of an issue. We're going to put another one of these. Here. Power efficiency is not researched. Okay, we'll sort that out as well. Uh, so it looks like we've got a bit of a backlog here fitting the fuel tank. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're gonna take that out, take that across to there. Which should work. Uh, fit fuel tank. I'm going to put another one of these in. Like so. Which is going to have a link across there. And then we'll go like so and like so. Now that should work. Start clearing the backlog. And we're starting, these are producing so much quicker now that we're getting a lot of like log in here. So we need to work out the body as well and produce that faster. Eventually, what I'll do is I'll have this all set up and then I'll start a completely new production line, bringing it out, making all the separate parts once we've got all the research done. So our research now is at it's just a little bit less than what it was before. Uh, we can still... Let's do that, because I think that fits in nice there. That's a nice big complex office. And we'll research the bigger power plant and power efficiency. And we'll put these big ones over here. And then we can move them out of there. And we've got a, a, a load of room, basically, to play with. And we're, we're start improving stuff, because this is not laid out very good. Um, I'm going to end it there, though. That's 35 minutes. So we've broken all the chassis parts out. This is the next thing. Uh, we need to improve here. Now, we could just simply add more of these along here. We've got room for probably another two or three. Same with that. Same with that. And um, we may do that just to get us going to produce more cars. Um, but we're we'll tuned back in next week. That's it for today then, guys. So uh, until the next time, it's goodbye from me for now. But I'm going to finish off by saying, 
If you like the video, hit the like button. Feel free to comment down below. Tips, ideas, or questions, chuck them down below, and I will have a look at them as soon as I can. I'll put the usual links for Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon all in the description of the video. But most importantly, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That's it for today. So until the next time, goodbye from me for now. Bye-bye.